Hi guys. Um, I'm I'm just gonna be waiting on uh, Anushree, and then we'll begin immediately. Meanwhile, if you have any questions throughout the entire live session, uh, please put them in the comment box or the question box that is allotted to the right side of your comment box. <laughs> So um, guys, today we're going to be uh, hosting Anushree Das, who is a very amazing mandala artist along with other artwork as well. And we'll be hearing from her soon. And just waiting on her to join and then we will begin. There she is. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. How about you? I'm fine as well. I'm really excited for the session today. So uh, let's begin. Uh, yeah. Today we have with us uh, Anushri Das, the face of Artsy Mind on Instagram. And her account is filled with mandalas and beautiful artwork. Please go Thank check you. her out. and. Uh, welcome to the session with me, Umaima from Girls Bus and Anushree Das. So, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me. Um, so, Anushree, tell me something day? about it. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Happy Women's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> happy Women's Day to you. Happy Women's Day to all the women that are watching and yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. out there everyone, today. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let us begin with. The questions. Yeah, uh, sure. Tell us something about yourself. So I'm Anushri, uh, the face behind Artsy Mind, as you have introduced. <laughs> so I'm basically from Assam, uh, presently based out in uh, New Delhi. I used to be an HR professional a uh, few years back, and then I left my job uh, for my son. And uh, currently, I'm pursuing my art. I don't know how far I have come across, you know. But I'm just trying and uh, I just, uh, I mean, I found my solace with mandalas. They are uh, so therapeutic, you know, they have given me a second lease of life after I left my job and everything, the, profe yeah. after the professional life I had. So this is the story. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is me actually. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, yeah. for, uh, for those who don't already know, uh, please introduce Artsy Mind to us. So Artsy Mind was, you know, started as a hobby page, basically, during the lockdown in 2020. I was always into arts since childhood, but I'm not trained as in vocationally trained. Uh, so I started this page as a hobby page, like my friends, few of my friends suggested, why don't you start? And that's how it started. And I got a lot of love, actually, from the people. And it gave me a boost that whatever I'm doing, it is on a right path, as you can say. And that's how Artsy Mind started, and uh, it is continuing. You know, I'm continuing to explore new things. I started with traditional mandalas, and now I yeah. incorporate mandalas with a uh, few more other things, uh, other and uh, elements and all. So, so that is uh, that is how Artsy <laughs> Mind currently. Um, during this journey of Artsy Mind, uh, mm -hmm. who has inspired you? Who has been your constant support and inspiration for you? So the support is the family. I mean, as I have a small child at home, he has been like the most supportive one. Like, you know, <laughs> he has allowed his uh, timings you know, to me that you go ahead and do your things. 
and the inspiration of course the beautiful artists in the platform actually they have given so much they have i mean i did not know even how to do a technical mandala i learned it from the people around there in instagram so uh, the, they have actually you know uh, supported my this journey and um, i'm sure i hope they continue to do so actually so <laughs> this is the thing uh do you have a particular artist in mind do you uh, have somebody who you actually like just look up to them and something? yeah i have when there are many actually uh, to name a few would be a uh, sodamini madra uh, there's sodamini madra whose whose page is like amazing like it's like wow you know her page was <laughs> one of the thing that has motivated me to start my mandala journey basically and there is uh, mandalas by chetna and there are many actually so these are a few who i can remember right now <laughs> that, that's amazing um so uh, i am personally an artist as well and i have always uh-huh. faced this question where um, everybody would tell me that you know art cannot be pursued as a proper career and I, i'm sure that you must have faced such questions as well so how did you respond to that how did you take that feedback in and that's correct actually even in my case i though i was interested in arts i never uh, you know pursued it as a profession mm-hmm. however i was a hr profession i would have taken it as a profession of i would have had a different set of journey altogether actually yes the perception is still there but i believe uh, you know you have you need to give a lot of time to it i mean you need to just love the craft and the rest can follow i guess sir what uh, what would you like to tell the people who would actually you know criticize your work i mean criticize is everywhere right i mean mm-hmm. if i was into hr then also i would have got the same you know negative criticize or a positive criticize i take it in the same way i know i mean i am not the perfect or i am i am i like uh, i'm lagging behind a lot i cannot catch up like i cannot create a art on a daily basis to keep up the pace with the other the race actually so i, I take it i take it in a positive way because i know it that i i so uh, and it is normal i guess you know whoever i mean everyone in around us is facing the same thing so i'm just taking it in the same way and i hope i have the proper answer up, you know in some you know years to come that yes it can be taken as a profession too i i'm sure you will and i'm sure that uh, we will be asking you that question and giving you the platform for you to answer it yes <laughs> absolutely <Yeah. laughs> um uh, what i want to ask is what is your favorite uh, pen set uh, that you use so currently i am using this uh, brastro fine liners oh nice okay so they are they come like in eight uh, sizes so these hmm. are my current favorites actually <laughs> so I, i am using this currently yeah that that's nice yeah, yeah. um yeah. so uh, do you do you do uh, diy mandala arts like hang wall hangings and stuff as well and I, like uh, tell more stuff okay see i have start started with only mandalas on paper but recently i have done few i can show you a few things please please uh, please go these ahead. are like few uh, coasters oh, wow. <laughs> that is beautiful <laughs> i am yet to post these on my account so i'm just creating i was so skeptical about all this i did not know how oh. to go about it so these are few things i have tried uh so this i am these are these will be up for sale also and uh, so this is what <laughs> i am planning for me for a uh, few more wall hanging sort of things actually so i that looks I beautiful that. that really looks beautiful i <laughs> i just want to buy it right now <laughs> <laughs> sure uh, I, yeah, yeah. i'm sure that when you put it up i will be one of them <laughs> and uh, um so do you do customization ba- based on you know how people would uh, ask you give you orders and like uh, yes. yeah yeah i i do, do it according I, to their um, yeah. yeah i have done i have done a few actually 
uh, but I am sorry I cannot show you all of them right now because yeah, yeah. All of them actually uh, you know they are not with me anymore. They have gone to their respective places actually. Yes, of I do course. take customization and uh, yes, I do it. Uh, so uh, do you like uh, where do you uh, retail these? Like where do you sell these? Do you have like a web page? No, not yet. I it is everything is on Instagram only. Uh, whoever wants to purchase or for anything, they contact me through Instagram only, and uh, that is how as of now. Uh, let's see <laughs> for the future. Um. So, do you have like out of all of your beautiful artworks that you've created, do you have a particular favorite that you you know always like? Uh, you just keep coming back. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Just little miss. Yeah. Um, I'm saying, do you uh, have like a particular uh, artwork that you just cherish so much that you just keep coming back to? Yeah, there are few actually. I would uh, like to show you uh, two of them. So this is what Please. I created. Uh, wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> So this is one of my personal favorite, actually. I mean, a lot of hard work on experiments has gone behind this, actually. There is so the much detail. Second one that I did. I mean, wow. I incorporated the fashion illustration uh, along with Mandela in this. So it just looks so beautiful. Yeah, how, and, uh, I just wonder how much time would this take? I know, I mean, I know. <laughs> most of the people, you know, ask about the timings only. As I said, I am a full time mom, and uh, yeah. so I have made it a routine. The art has been my the routine in my daily life actually now. So I incorporate yeah. it that way is actually. Yeah, I, everybody is going crazy over all of your designs. <laughs> they all oh. love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, um, so, uh, what techniques do you usually uh, use in your, you know, usual day-to-day -day life? Techniques in terms of mandala art, you're asking? Yeah. Yeah. So, the technique is the basic one. You have a grid. You make a hmm. grid along with your like compass and a protractor. You go, hmm. The thing is, like, you get the idea for a traditional mandala is uh, like uh, something like this. Ah, okay. It's just, wow. uh, yeah, it's just a. Oh, uh, yeah, so <laughs> these are traditional things are. I find traditional mandalas are very easy for me now because uh, I. I I would like to mention you need to just keep practicing for the speed or a, a you know fine work and all those. However, it yeah. is doable. There is nothing rocket science behind a mandala. I mean, anyone can have <laughs> their own mandala journey, and it will be like amazing and beautiful, life changing, or whatever you say. <laughs> um. So, do you do dot mandalas? No, I haven't done. I find it's very nice, very beautiful, but I also believe that it will require a lot of patience to do <laughs> you know, that thing. So wow. I have not tried it as of now. I'm sure I will try it someday, you know. Yeah. Uh, so have you ever uh, dabbled into uh, digital mandalas? Do you do you do them on uh, any kind of software or anything? No. And do you would you like to try it? I haven't tried digital mandala as of now. Uh, however, there mm. are friends of mine who actually are doing wonders in digital mandala. Actually, <laughs> you know, I would like to try, you know, someday. Uh, but now I find it like hand drawn thing, the traditional thing. I find it more therapeutic, you know, to you know looking yeah. the, instead of looking at the screen. I find it uh, good to look at the paper or do it actually. So as of now, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, what what uh, what does your daily routine look like? What are other oh. hobbies that you <laughs> that you see uh, that you uh, do other than mandala? My daily routine, like the eighty percent of my day day is involved my son actually. It's like <laughs> behind him, you know. So the rest twenty percent that I have free for me, I practice uh, of course my arts. And I have got few hobbies like 
some meeting stuff or some uh, DIY things. I I do. I keep on doing all these things, or like yeah. uh, you know, up, you know that upcycling of some old goods and all those, and of course cooking sometimes and like <laughs> as a hobby. So these these, these things actually. Uh, so uh, making mandalas takes so much time out of your daily routine and so much you know takes it out of you as well so how do you how do you keep on going how do you what motivates you you know what it's like it's the only time of the day i keep on like looking for to go back like when <laughs> i everyone is quiet and i'm going back to my mandalas and sitting there with my art for at least one hour or one and a half hour what motivates me is like the of course the i mean i mean as you say the journey of making a mandala is more beautiful than the completed piece actually that that's what i believe <laughs> i mean you you will keep on going back to it until and if you finish it and look at the final piece and and of course the appreciation uh, sometimes this appreciation you know uh, things actually makes you mm. motivates you to go back and do little more experiment a little more learn a little new thing or do something yeah. new about it so this is the thing um what uh, what uh, what advice would you give to somebody who is trying to uh, create a profession out of art or a profession into this field i am also learning about it you know i <laughs> i when i started i never knew that it will be a professional thing um, i never thought oh, this will be loved or it will be it can be taken as an you know professional thing actually so yeah. i am also trying to figure out you know uh, the ways how to do uh, i'm taking the suggestions of the people who are already doing a lot you know in with this art uh, doing professionally and all i'm sure it will take hmm. a lot of time because of i'm i mean i'm in, I'm not a trained one and it will takes a lot of time uh, to learn a new thing and then you know Uh, you know, master in that to become a professional one or so. So even I am yeah. trying to find out. <laughs> um, uh, I think those are all the questions I have for you, and we yeah, can move on to questions. Actually, lot of questions. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. There's a yeah. lot of questions asked by everybody. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go through them. Sure, 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 sure. Um, uh, yeah. uh yeah okay so somebody says what would be your suggestion to those women who think after becoming a mom it's impossible to focus on work no it it is not true <laughs> you know, as for a new mom it of course the baby or the kid takes a lot of time of your time actually but after certain time uh you will have to find your time and children it's very necessary for the well being of the both for the mother and the child it's it's not only for yeah. the mother actually it's uh, very necessary to have your own sanity or your own thing you know own happiness to keep everyone happy keep everyone else in the family happy so you should take some time at least an hour in a whole 24 hour time for yourself do whatever you want to do but at least take your time for yourself and you will be able no. to do it it's not no no it's not so tough <laughs> beautifully answered um thank you uh, do you conduct workshops online i would like to join one <laughs> yeah sure please uh, just dm me on my instagram we we will take it forward <laughs> absolutely okay uh how do you uh juggle between your passion and your work life uh, uh, sorry and your personal life uh that is what i said i made my passion a routine a daily i mean a part of my daily routine i whatever i do in a day i make sure i sit with my thing or my arts if i cannot do uh three to four hours then also i you know i just sit at least for one hour or half an hour at least just a line then also i do it i just made it a routine <laughs> and i guess that help that help that help for everyone around the family so that people also understand that it's my time to do little my job <laughs> that is how i'm sure you share it around with your family as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> um how do you correlate uh, 
or mix indian art with mandalas okay uh, indian art see so i'll show you something so this is what i had done this is a this is a alpana art from west bengal basically i mixed okay. it up with, with mandala wow that's really beautiful and, <laughs> it's so uh, intricate i can't stop looking <laughs> thank you thank you so much so this is a sort of thing that i have mixed you know a few mm. sorts of art that i have mixed up uh, with mandala and uh, mm. it's like you will get the ideas once you start doing at least something you know it is uh, you know uh, i mean as it say you know practice makes you you perfect or something like once yeah. you start practicing the art you will be having the ideas in your mind when you think continuously about something of course the new ideas come come in you know so yeah that is how i created this so <laughs> beautiful <laughs> um do you draw the circles free hand or use a tool i use a compass i do not draw free hand okay yeah. um do you like colors in mandalas uh i don't know i like both actually so there i show you <laughs> the black and white one this is a black and white oh. art that i did wow And so also, do you fill those blank spaces with hmm. the pen itself these are uh, filled with uh, black acrylic colors uh, with a uh, oh okay oh brush. my god that is so precise <laughs> yeah so these are the free hand things uh, yeah for which you do not need a compass or something and uh, hmm. as i said i like both i mean there are days when i like black and white there are days when i like my colored mandalas <laughs> so i like both it's a, it's amazing how you've converted your passion into your uh, career and i hope that okay. many women are in, getting inspired here today on women's day um so i think that's all the time that we have and all the questions that we have from everybody um yes, I guess. okay no, wait, there's one more uh, yes. is there any particular pattern that you like pattern not really i guess no i mean i i like everything i mean i'm still exploring i'm sure <laughs> you know down there i find my favorite one or so but right now i'm i like everything about a mandala i just want to i just do not want to stop somewhere i just want to create or uh, you know uh, renovate or experiment with some new things every other day and hopefully that's an amazing motto <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> uh okay uh, anishri i hope that yeah. you've had fun today with us um yeah very very happy women's day to you Thank and you. everybody you are once again yeah um yeah. <clears throat> and that's it uh that's see you again soon we will stay in touch and sure, sure. Uh, have a great day thank you thank you bye 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 bye